have never played a sport in their damned lives who are out here with blue hair and orange hair and purple eyelashes out here trying to tell you to do some things that don't make no sense. To, 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 to align with some stuff that makes absolutely no sense. What's going on? I'm Anoki the One, back with another video. And this video is my reaction to a video about transgender athletes. Now, many of you know that I am an athlete, grew up playing basketball with all boys. I've been playing basketball since I was five years old, straight street ball. And then that gave me an advantage playing with a woman, a, a woman, but this is what people need to think about, okay? On the left or wherever the hell you're at, okay? When have you ever seen a trans man fighting to be in the NBA? When have you ever seen a trans man fighting to be in the NFL? When have you ever seen a trans man? And if you don't know a trans man, a trans man is a woman, a female who transitions into a male. Okay. Do you ever see trans men out here fighting to be uh, in female, in male wrestling arenas or male MMA? Do, do you? Okay. So if you want equality, okay. If you want equality, you should be you should be smart enough to realize when somebody's just taking advantage. Okay, you will not see a trans man fighting to go into men's prisons. You're not going to see that. So who are the only people who are benefiting from the, all of this bull crap that y'all trying to? Before I wasn't thinking like that. Okay, I wasn't thinking like that. Before I was just like, oh well, yeah, you know, I guess trans people should be. Hell no. Hell no. Will you actually think deeper about it? Okay. It's one thing if it's like a genuine trans person who is the average trans woman could give a damn about sports. They're, they're feminine. They transition into a woman. Okay. Mo a lot of female sports is flooded with ma more masculine women. That's why they're in sports. Okay. So, if you're gonna be masculine, okay, you wanna be a, right? Like most like real trans women, they're like literally, okay? They're not trying to do that. So who are, who are these people? What are they doing? What are you doing? What are you trying to do? Like really, what are you trying to do? Okay, because you transitioning from a man into a woman and you're in the Olympics, you're getting paid, okay? You're, you you have an advantage. You have an advantage. Now you have a privilege. You're already a man. Okay, you're born a man. I can give a damn. Any real trans person, okay, a real trans person, not these white men, okay, or these black men, okay, any real trans person can identify, okay, yeah, I was born a man. I was a man for 30 years. I was a man for 25 years. My bones, my muscles are not gonna disappear with estrogen medicine. Like that's basic, that's basic, that's basic, that's basic. Okay, that's basic. Like you hit puberty and the game is different. Okay, I play with guys before puberty and after puberty. I still be beating y'all every once in a while in basketball, but it's different. It's different. You're, you're not gonna reverse the way your bones is changing. You're not gonna reverse the chemistry of your body. Okay, in your muscles. Okay, that's just, that's just basic. <laughs> what? I wish somebody would have, I wish a six foot, I was playing six, I played Brittany Griner, okay, in basketball. Okay, I think my junior year. This broad was six foot something. Okay, she was, she, was huge, okay? We don't need men her height, her with muscles. She's a little skinny. She wasn't like, they had some girls that was tall like that, just We don't need men, <laughs> full blown men up there talking about dunking on us. Hell no, hell no, that's terrible. That's terrible. We're, women are still fighting to be able to play football with each other, okay? I, I played, I, I wanted to play professional football. We don't even have a professional football league. 
Okay, we don't have it for ourselves. So now y'all are trying to put trans women in the mix with us and we barely, like WBA is barely holding on. We're barely even doing sports now. Like people barely watching us already. And now you want to add trans women? Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? WNBA professional athletes are barely able to pay their daggone bills, okay, as women getting injured and everything else, same thing with guys, but we getting paid pennies. And now you have trans women. And I honestly don't think these are real trans women. I honestly think these are privileged white men and white women. I mean, white, white men and black men, okay, who have found <laughs> an opportunity and with some dumb dummies who have never played a sport in their damned lives, who are out here with blue hair and orange hair and purple eyelashes, out here trying to tell you to do some things that don't make no sense, to, 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 to align with some stuff that makes absolutely no sense. I wanted to play football on the boys team in junior high just so I could play football because there's no football team for us. So now y'all, what? First things first. First things first. First things first. Y'all crazy. I'm not about to play with y'all. And I wish somebody would come in my comments talking about, what is that little stupid thing people talk about, turf? First of all, I'm not a feminist. I am a black woman, okay? I'm not a feminist. Them suckers, their their origin story is of racism, okay? Y'all y'all just trying to do your thing, protect yourself, but guess what? Y'all was racist. I'm not about to play, okay? That's one thing. Two things, I have a trans man as a cousin and I have a trans woman as a cousin. 99% of y'all have never seen a trans person in your life, in real life, before 2015. I'm talking about shake hands, hug. You don't know any of them. You don't know one, one, name one. I've said this, people try to debate me all the time. Name one, one, I'll wait, I'll wait. Y'all on YouTube commenting and messing, oh my gosh, I loved your video. Y'all don't know any real trans people in your lives. Y'all done watched, uh, 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 what is that, uh, Pose, and now y'all think y'all know the struggles of what a trans person is going through. Okay, trans person in New York is very different than a trans person in New Orleans. A trans person in New York is very different than a trans person in Houston. A trans person in California is very different than a trans person, okay, in Mississippi, Alabama. Okay, stop it, S stop it. And then they're like unicorns because there's barely any trans people, okay? There's barely any real trans people. Those particular people have very different issues and very different concerns than these privileged white men and black men and whatever colored man you are trying to be in women's sports. Stop it. Or trying to get into men's prisons. Stop it. It was a jailhouse dude that gave me this daggone scar. Okay, what do you think they're gonna do if they can say, I identify as a non-binary woman? How the hell are you a non-binary woman? The purpose, you're supposed to be non-binary. You ain't got nothing. That means anything goes. We could do whatever we want because you're non-binary. So you can't be a non-binary woman. It's either you're a woman, you're a man, or you're neither, okay? <laughs> it's just, that's how it is. Or you're in between. Being in between is different than non-binary. It's in between, it's called androgynous. Stop trying to delete gender. That's what you're doing now. You're deleting it, okay? It's not gonna go away. It's a law of the universe. It's called the law of gender. Everything has both. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, okay? Stop playing with me, all right? <laughs> I got real passionate about this because I got injured as a, like, you get injured, you've worked your whole life playing basketball. You've worked your whole life playing whatever sport to be good as a woman to do the most that you can do with the body and the chemistry and the your mind, whatever that you have, okay? You do the most with what you have. You compete with guys to train, okay? Not to for a championship, if we're going for a championship, and I've been fighting my whole life since I was five, 
and it's my senior year, and we in a championship, and this big trans six foot seven, eight, nine man or trans woman with some lipstick on, and that's it. Okay, nothing else is tr transitioned but that. And you dunk it on us, and we did what? No, 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 no. <laughs> Y'all better stop playing. Y'all, yeah, yeah. stop playing with me. I, I really feel bad for all the women, like all the girls growing up now, and they're just like, what the hell? What happened? What happened? And then people are trying to tell them, oh yeah, it's okay. You know, she is just trans and you have to identify help her. You have to, you have to change all of women's sports for the two to three trans women, because I don't think they're real. I honestly don't, I, you know, I don't think they're not, mm -mm, no. They're not. They're just trying to take advantage. And then this whole girl who 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 tra supposedly transitioned and didn't tell nobody. Okay. And it's just, it's dangerous. It's literally dangerous. It's literally dangerous. So people will talk about protect women, protect women, protect women. Only when they're dead. Okay. Only when they can't speak. And then everything, every other instance is protect trans women, protect trans women. The few, the, the ones you can't even, you ain't never seen none of them. You, there's barely any. Okay, but 50% of the population is women. Women, women. Born women, gonna die women. Not cis, not cis, just straight, straight up women. Okay, stop playing with me. I'm done. I'll see y'all in the next video. Comment below, I done got passionate. Cause this has nothing to do about hating people, about people not, you know, not wanting particular rights for people. But if you don't get your, y'all y'all taking advantage. At this point, y'all taking advantage. Y'all are taking advantage. Taking advantage of the situation. They're trying to make it seem like LGBT is just all accepting, which LGBT Inc, the organization, okay, the, 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 uh, uh, the cult. Yeah. Anything, any little political, new political bullshit they want to throw in the world, they do with the LGBTQ. But us as people, we are gatekeepers. We're like, nah, 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 nope, 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 nope. And they're trying to train us to be all accepting of every kind of bullshit, dumb thing. No, we're truthers, okay, in reality, okay? But because we feel like we're, 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 you know, otherly, they've made us otherly, they've taken us out of the gates, okay? They kicked us out of our communities. Now, you can't, you can't have any judgments or any standards or any kind of anything because you're already gay or you're already lesbian or you're already bisexual, blah, blah. Hell no. I don't give a goddamn. I don't give a goddamn. I don't give a goddamn. Okay? Because now you're taking advantage. Now you're taking advantage of masses of people. Okay? Now it's flipping on us. So now you're putting real trans people in danger because regular people who are the average pe person who is the, the majority... Now they're looking at you crazy when you only got 0.6% of the population, something like that. Okay, real ones. Now you're putting them in danger. People hating on them more than they have in the past 10 years because of privileged white men and black men. Not trans women. White men, black men who are privileged, who want to take advantage, who want to be in men, women's prisons. <laughs> and to tell you the truth, a trans woman in a... In a I'm not even gonna go into that. Y'all are not that, y'all not ready for that. Y'all don't know real experiences. And really a trans woman <laughs> in a men's prison, they treat it like royalty, okay? They're, they're the closest thing to a woman in the prison. If you jack up a trans woman in the, in the, in, in, in the prison system, then you ain't gonna get nothing. You ain't get nothing. They be running the jails if you wanna know the god dang on truth, okay? A lot of times. Okay, they're protected. We need the, the, the queen in the prison. Okay, yep, yep. Y'all not ready, y'all not ready. But anyway, I'll see y'all <laughs> in the next video. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think in the, in, in, in the, in the, uh, in the comments. And again, don't be disrespectful towards trans people because like I said, I have actual family who are trans. It has nothing to do with disrespect to trans people. It has to do with white men and black men taking advantage and stop playing with us. Stop playing with us. Stop playing. All right. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out.